Good morning and welcome to my channel. Today I'm sitting on my bedroom floors in front of three big windows and I'm going to do a full face of Merit Beauty products. Uh, this is my second time recording this and the first time I recorded the whole thing and when I imported it, I saw that I only got about 20 minutes of footage because the rest, the disc was too full and I didn't realize it. So here we are again, uh, but I really wanted to do it in natural light because I felt like the beauty, uh, the Merit Beauty brand is very like natural oriented, clean brand, um, very minimal makeup that recording it in uh just studio lights it just wouldn't do justice so if you guys are interested please continue watching if you're new here please don't forget to subscribe down below uh grab something to drink if you want i have my coffee here uh it's kind of half gone because it's my second time recording um and let's get into these products so these products were sent to me Merit reached out and they said pick one of each that you would like and we'll send it to you. So this is how I got it. Um, this is what the products were all in. And here it says less is more. And it also came with this card. Uh, and it says the antidote to the oversaturated world of beauty. And I like that a lot. So like I said before, this was sent to me, which I was so excited. It was my first PR um, and I do get approached by quite a lot of brands like every day I get emails about hey can we send you this or that um, but they're none of them fit my channel or my makeup style um, so I, I didn't feel the need to receive these products that I wouldn't feature in a video because I wasn't interested but this was the first one that I was like oh my gosh yes please so um it all came into this little bag and it's so cute and beautiful and all the products are in there um super cute i'm actually using this as my makeup bag as well because it can get tied pretty well where the products won't come out and it's really really cute i really really like that little bag so if you do not know what married beauty is they are a clean brand they are carried at sephora and they also are online and they are very focused on minimal makeup and on letting your skin show through so all their products are going to be for minimal makeup you're not going to find these intense colors so all their skin products like their foundation and their blush or all those they are focused on just letting your skin show so in their line they have seven different products they have their brush they have an eyebrow product a mascara blush foundation highlighter and a lip product that's all they have and i really really hope they expand a little bit uh, because i have really enjoyed some of these products and some are like mm, just not my favorite. So I am going to start with one of my favorite products and that is this one right here. This is their highlighter and I'm going to pull up the description. This is called Day Glow Highlighting Balm and this is a translucent moisturizing highlighter that illuminates skin for that fresh morning dewdrop on a flower petal sheen. So this is the packaging. It's a off-white color it has merit right here and this is how it looks inside i have used this so much so that is the highlighter and it's something that it doesn't really have a base color to it um, but it has a sheen so i have been using this almost as a primer kind of like i would use the charlotte tilbury flawless filter so I'm just going to put it on the high points of my cheeks, I guess. I'll blend this in first and then put a little bit here on my nose and chin. This is very soft, um, gives a lot of glow, uh, and I just think it looks so beautiful under foundation and on top of foundation this has such a beautiful glow to it look at that uh, it makes your cheeks look wet 
but it's not too intense. Uh, so in person, you're just going to see that you have a glow, almost a wet looking skin, but you don't see any shimmer. Like I blended that in and that's just how it looks like. It has no actual shimmer in it. It almost looks like a balm that reflects light so beautiful moving on to their foundation so this is their foundation this is the packaging and it's really beautiful this has merit again here and this is the top um now i have an issue with this product simply because you get so little you get 3.7 grams um and it's just small like for a foundation, it's very small. And I believe this is $38. Yes, this is $38. It's supposed to be a lightweight hydrating formula that wears throughout the day without settling into fine lines. It's buildable light to medium coverage that stays breathable all day. In their description, they said this, get compliments on your skin, not your makeup which I thought it was super cute, uh, and that we designed this in place of an all-over coverage so you can make small edits only where you need them, which I thought it was really cute because, um, you know, if you just need a little bit on under eye coverage or, you know, wherever you have imperfections, this is meant for that. It's not meant to have this full coverage foundation, but I will put it all over because I really like it all over. Um, Again, this is $38, and I got the color Bisque, yes. So to blend all this in, I am moving on to their brush. I adore this brush. It is small, so it fits in your makeup bag so easily. Um, it's a little bit like angled right here let me see there you go this is extremely soft uh, and it's pretty densely packed so it blends in foundation really well and this is $30 so I will show you how easy it is to spread this out So this is a light layer of the foundation. It blended in so fast and I really, really like it. I am going to build it up a little bit more under my eyes because I'm not gonna use concealer. I'm just going to use this. So for a stick foundation, I actually think um, it blends in so well. It kind of reminds me of the Tom Ford stick foundation and I am kind of obsessed with that one so to me they blend in just as um seamlessly and i would say that that maybe the tom ford you can get a little bit fuller coverage than this one although i feel like they cover it covered so well um i barely see my freckles through it so you can definitely build this up i would consider this to be more of a medium coverage not light because it definitely like kind of almost perfects your skin without it being too heavy. So that is the foundation on the skin. Beautiful. I absolutely, absolutely love it. Married Beauty does not have powder, which I want them to come out with a powder. Like I think they are going to do such a good job. So I will take my closest powder and because of how much glow I'm about to put on, I do think I want to keep this area a little bit matte so I won't just be shining. So I'm going to take a little bit of this Kosas and just take it on my forehead. All right, moving on to the highlighter. I'm going to take this again and brighten up this area. And I have some texture there, like I have a pimple that 
it's either coming or going, I don't know, but it does not emphasize that at all. It is so smooth and it's just glossy. That's what it is. So that is the highlighter and it's just, it's perfect. There's a dog barking now. Today is just not a good day to film. It really isn't, but I'm, I'm pushing through. Look at that. That is just stunning. Uh, it's such a beautiful product. I'm so happy, so happy I discovered it. Now they don't have any bronzer. They did send me a blush and I picked this one. This is in terracotta and I was thinking, Maybe I could use this as a bronzer, but I don't think you can because it is so glossy that it just doesn't work as a bronzer. In the undertone, it's brown, but I like bronzer too much to skip bronzer. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my Tom Ford shade and illuminate and just bronze up with this a little bit. Um, I guess I'll do it on camera. I'll just take my brush because it's such a perfect brush and... I will show you how easy it is to use. Okay, now that I'm a little bit more bronzed up and feeling a little bit more put together, I'm going to take this blush. This, let's read about this blush. This is called the Flush Balm, and it's a cream tint that melts into skin for lit from within color that stays flush all day. And then it is supposed to be a flexible balm that deposits a creamy transparent veil of color to let your skin show through. I think it's important, their description, because this is transparent. I got mine again in the shade Terracotta and this is it swatched right here and as you can see it is transparent i have seen some reviews about this product and they say oh it kind of blends away you i don't really see it but i found the trick with this is you cannot blend it too much um put it on like a lot and take your finger and just blend in the edges and that's about it you do not want to blend this all away. First of all, look look at that glow again. This is a very, very glowy product. It's definitely like a transparent balm, exactly what they're saying. And that's all I do. I literally just blend the edges and leave the rest the way it is because it gives the most beautiful, healthy glow. Uh, this is not for everybody though. It does not set so it is kind of sticky it's not super sticky where your hair gets stuck on it but it's sticky it doesn't set so that's important to know because um if you don't like that you're absolutely going to hate this product but that's literally all i blend if I blend too much more than this, it will blend away. Um, and yeah, it's you're not gonna see it on the skin. So I add even more. Don't be afraid with this to add a lot. I'm gonna put it over my nose as well. And you can definitely put this on the lips. However, this color terracotta for me it makes me look sick on my lips. I tried it and it does not look good. So this is where I leave it. But look at that glow. Um, I wouldn't say it's too much glow for me because I love glow, but you have to have the look for it. Uh, it doesn't work with just anything. It definitely works with a very minimal makeup style, which I'm about to do all that. So I think for what I'm going for, I'm obsessed with this blush it is stunning I actually want to pick up one more shade because i love this blush so much for just every day um i probably would pick more of a berry pinky shade but ugh, i'm just loving this product so much i can even take this a little bit on my eyelids i don't fully recommend this on your eyes um maybe just a little bit to give a little bit of dimension 
but they don't have any uh, eye products except mascara. So I want to add a little bit. Just because this is so glossy, um, I'm just afraid the mascara, mascara would run and smudge. But um, absolutely loving this blush. I mean, could I be glowier? I don't think so. All right, moving on to a product that is just not my favorite. It's not horrible. This is the uh, eyebrow product and this is the packaging is this beautiful gold and it says merit here somewhere uh, and this always confuses me because this big part is the brush and this tiny part is where the product is so i always like open it the opposite way i got mine in the shade brown and um you know i don't know if the shade is just too light for me but I don't feel like it does enough for me. Let me see how much this is. This is $24 and it's a volumizing pomade. A nod to the brows of the 80s. This pomade adds color and volume for healthy, fluffy arches. And um, it's not bad. I'll show you guys. Um, but I usually like a little bit more than this. Um, I don't think it compares to the Kosas or the um, M Cosmetics ones. Those are better. But this is not bad either. So that is with and without. And it, it definitely adds some color. It adds a little bit of volume, but I feel like it's not enough. There's not enough product on the brush or it's just very soft, maybe too soft for me. But if you are somebody that really wants to do bare minimal with their brows, like they don't like to fill them in much, this could work. It's pretty, there's nothing bad about it. I just usually like to have just a little bit more definition to my brows. And this is nice to put on top of a pencil, which I'm going to do right now. I'm going to fill this in um, my brows with this Gucci brow product a little bit. And I think that works better. So I'll be right back. So this is with a little bit of the Gucci brow product. And this is more my style. I like it to have a little bit more definition in the brows. But it's again, it's not a bad product, but it's something that I can't use it on its own. I will always pair it with something else. And also it's kind of up there in price. Okay, moving on to their mascara. So they have this mascara, which is a tubing mascara, which I am excited for a couple reasons. This is how the brush looks like. It has more of these natural bristles or it feels like that. And a pretty big one, but it's not thick. This mascara is $26 and it's called Clean Lash and it's a lengthening mascara. Uh, so because it's tubing, it works for my lower lashes pretty well. Like I don't have such big issues with smudging, um, but it doesn't give me volume. So on my top lashes, it's not bad, but it's not my favorite. I was going to curl my lashes real quick. Um, it gives me length, but it doesn't give me enough volume. And if you know me at all, you know I love full volume for my lashes. I don't even mind clumpiness in lashes. A little bit, not too much. But uh, this is just not enough volume for me. It has good length but I definitely need more. So this is how it looks with a one coat. Um, I mean, you can definitely see a difference, but it's not a lot. It definitely has length and I love the way it separates the lashes. I actually love it on the lower lashes so much. It separates them and I'll show you. Look how pretty that looks on the lower lashes. I think it's so, it's feathered, but it just, it's so pretty. I think it just looks more feathered and softer. And I think for lower lashes, it's like perfect. Now I'm gonna put like three coats and I'll show you the result. So this is with three coats, I'm um, two and a half coats, let's say. Um, and this is pretty much 
all you can get from this mascara, but I absolutely love it on the lower lashes. I think it looks so, so beautiful. And overall, I, I like my lashes. They're just soft. They're, they're not, that doesn't have a lot of volume. So for me, I probably wouldn't use it on my top lashes. I would only use it on my lower lashes. Another thing that's good about this mascara is that it separates them so well. So if I have an issue and I added just too much like vo like volumizing mascara, I can go with this one and it kind of separates them and just, it just decomps them. Is that even a word? Anyway, it makes them look better. Um, and I really enjoy it for that. So I have a place in my collection for this mascara and I've used it um, for that purpose and for my lower lashes. But for my top, it's not my go-to. So let me finish this eye real quick and I'll be right back. So this is the mascara just with two, three coats and it's pretty. Um, now, if you see any sparse area, it's because my lashes are kind of falling and new ones are coming in it's not the actual mascara but yeah this is what you should expect from this mascara so moving on to the last product and that is this shade slick i'm gonna read a little bit about it this is a tinted lip oil this is a slick of sheer color infused with the rosehip oil and shea butter for healthy lips all day um this is a product that i was the most surprised because I usually don't like products like these. I don't like lip glosses, but I, I discovered I like lip oils. And this is a new shade that they came out with, and this is the shade Cara Cara. And when I saw this shade, ooh, there we go, I was like, yes, that is that is made for me because it's this like orangey undertone and it's not too much it's almost like you can see it on the lips you'll see that it's pigmented but it looks effortless it doesn't look like wow you have red on your lips it just gives life to the look and i love to pair this with just mascara and just a glowy skin so the way i've been using it is definitely with lip liner i know I always lip line my lips, but um, I just feel like they have no shape without it. So I'm just going to use my Makeup Forever Anywhere Caffeine. It doesn't match the actual gloss, but it just helps it stay in place better. So I lip line just a little bit, and then I'm going to take the product and show you guys. See, it's pigmented. And that's this shade Cara Cara, and I have actually been using it quite a lot. I love to have it at work because it brings life to just my look overall, and it's so fast to apply. Like, I can apply this without a mirror, and I'd be fine. And I love the way it looks with a clean skin, just not too much. Um, it just has just an elegance to it. And, um, I'm just really liking this lip. Now they did mention in their description that they do have this lip stain effect um, and I agree to an extent. It fades but there's still some sort of color there. So I really like that because even if the shine goes away and most of the color, I feel like I still have something left and my lips aren't extremely pale so i really like that about it but i would not call this a lip stain whatsoever i would call this a lip oil with pigment so this is the full face of merit beauty and i'm loving it it is so glossy i mean look at my cheeks it's it's a lot but i like it um all we used was the bronzer from tom ford in a little bit of this in my brows just to even them out a little bit okay so let me give you my final thoughts on these products the one product that i'm just like mm, not that interested in is this mascara product it's not bad don't get me wrong but i probably wouldn't purchase it if it wasn't sent to me um because it's just not special enough 
And for me, for brows, I'm kind of simple. I just need a good brow product that fills in more than this, but it's not bad product. Now the mascara is another one that I am, I'm just not giving my full stamp of approval simply because it just doesn't give me enough volume on the top lashes. I do not hate this mascara. I actually really like it on my bottom lashes and if I want a barely there makeup, kind of like what I have right now, I think it looks really pretty but just, I just wish it had just a little bit more volume even for a natural mascara. Now the rest of the products are just, I love. Um, let's start with the brush which has been such a huge surprise such a good low brush i love that it's so small uh, it fits in my makeup bag i have like the lisa eldridge makeup bags and let's take a second to just get excited about her coming out with new shades and foundation and i'm just i cannot wait to place my order on the 15th. Um, anyway, so this fits in that makeup bag and I really like the way it blends the foundation, the bronzer, it's just such a good versatile brush. Next one is the foundation. Um, I actually really like the foundation. I don't like the price tag and I will show you that this one came out. Oh no, and I wanna see how much do I really get in here? So that kind of broke and I'm like pushing the rest of the product. That's all you get guys. That's all you get. Oh no. That is all you get. That is so little. So I'm just gonna put it back and this is all you get for this whole thing, which is $38. I think that is that is a very little product. I do enjoy it. I think it's the quality is really, really nice, but that's very expensive for the product that you get in there. I just wish they gave you more product to where it would be worth the money, um, but that's just too expensive. Now, these two products, I am mm -hmm, obsessed with them. I love this highlighter. You saw how much so beautiful and let's see how much you get here you get four grams here you get more here than your foundation uh, obsessed with this so so good oh wait i forgot to talk about the blush okay blush next i like this a lot um i want another color like i said i just love the way it makes my skin look um even when i walk i, I walked to the bathroom and just looked in the mirror and i was like wow my skin looks so glowy but not too much like it it's glowy i'm sitting again in natural light so it probably makes it even more intense but it's perfect i i really like this combo overall it's so beautiful but you really don't need a highlighter with this blush um so i really like this as well but with that i can't use it on any makeup look but that's why this one is better than this one in my opinion because i can use this with any makeup look with this one i i need to want that super glowy just shiny cheek um and i don't i wouldn't use this with super colorful eyes or things like that it's more for minimal makeup and then the lip product i just love it so much i'm surprised to see how much i love this one um i just think it's so pretty i'm gonna add a little bit more yeah, I'm just loving this so much. I like, the, let me finish putting this on. I like this kind of lip products because they're not sticky, but they give me color. I'm curious to see if I'll like other shades from this because I think I just love this shade so much. That's why I like this one. So I don't know, maybe I'll purchase another color, more neutral color to actually tell you guys how what I think about it. But so far, such a good product. So those are all the products that Merit Beauty has and I'm so thankful for them for sending them to me. Uh, I'm actually so excited about these products. I found some gems in here and again, some products that are just okay, but nothing that I tried is a dud, like a full dud. They all are just, just pretty, pretty makeup and I'm 
very excited to see what they come out with next i really hope they come with powder because that would be amazing so that is all for today i would love to hear your thoughts down below what do you think about married beauty also how do you feel about like changing up the background or recording in different parts of the house I actually really like it i think it's chill relaxed and i love the natural light but it is such a pain it's been dark and light and dark and light the whole video um kudos to people who only record in natural light because it's not easy i can't wait to hear your thoughts and i will see you guys in my next video bye